So the three words I would choose to de describe Dr. Warner would be excellence, um, both in himself and for his expectations for his students, integrity, uh, because he's a man of the highest integrity, and kindness, uh, because he really is incredibly kind. Intelligent, really intelligent, probably the most intelligent person I know. Um, really caring, and the last thing would be hilarious because he's really funny. And he makes me laugh the entire lecture, I'll just be laughing the whole time. <laughs> Generous, dedicated, and caring. Young, <laughs> good-natured, rigorous. He's a teacher who is competent in, in every way and who stands for excellence. So I'd say teacher, competence, excellence. So Dr. Warner's impact on the School of Medicine cannot be overstated. Um, he has taught generations of physicians for almost 40 years. Everybody from the 1980s forward has appreciated his quest for excellence and his um, desire to create not just knowledgeable physicians, but skilled physicians of the highest integrity. I had Dr. Leonard Werner as a professor, his first year of teaching physical diagnosis and pathophys. I have Dr. Warner right now as my pathophys professor, and it's his last year of teaching. The one, like the most important lesson Dr. Warner ever taught me was to always listen to your patients because your patients will tell you exactly what's wrong with them. Since the late 1980s, every single graduate in every single class has uh, been impacted by him, uh, substantively. So you think about all those people and the trickle-down effect of all those people out there and all the patients they see, uh, it's remarkable. It's a, a remarkable impact on patient care, on excellent clinical skills, and that, in my mind, um, changes the world around us. At times it seems overwhelming uh, that I've, I've taught over half the graduates of Lumberland University School of Medicine uh, just in the, the short period of time I've been here from 1981. I, I can't think but to uh, uh, imagine how all those graduates out in practice have impacted patients' lives. My, my life's work has been to try to turn out graduates that are absolutely the, the best they can be, the type of graduates I would send my own family to, my parents to, and now myself to. And, and knowing that I had a role in helping that process is, is uh, really overwhelming at times. The fact that we're creating a fund in Dr. Werner's name I think is so fitting because I can't think of anybody at Loma Linda who cares more about students. We both got to experience an extraordinary teacher, faculty member, but the one thing that has been consistent through all that time and the legacy we'd like to see continue is the excellence of Loma Linda students as they go out into residency and practice. They know how to examine a patient. And so I think this fund is going to enable that legacy to continue and ensure this current generation and future generations continue to, to master this very important skill set. As much as anyone, Dr. Warner has uh, promoted and supported the mission of the School of Medicine uh, of teaching students to provide whole person care for patients um, in that he really believed so strongly in creating excellent clinicians. Um, and our students are known um, for their ability to care for the whole patient and to give outstanding clinical care. And so this fund uh, and Dr. Warner, I think, will both come together to uh, support and promote his legacy in this, this regard. This fund would help future medical students uh, like you know me and the people who come after me because there's so many resources we use in the clinical skills lab or anatomy lab, uh, whether it be like working with cadavers or doing ultrasound, uh, practicing our physical exam skills that require like lots of resources uh, that are honestly quite expensive. I've worked extremely diligently to ensure that medical student education can be the best that it could be. 
and knowing that money is going to be put aside to continue clinical skills education uh, regardless of outside pressures that are brought to bear on, on medical student education is, is actually very reassuring and gives me a great deal of uh, joy and, and gratitude to Dr. Thomas who informed me of that decision. We would love for everyone else to have the opportunity to say, I want to help another student learn um, those valuable skills that Dr. Werner helped me learn.